The SAP Sales and Distribution Module, or SAP SD, is the backbone of selling and transportation of products and services. SAP SD is a logistics module that's used to deal with customer and product related data. Organizations use this data to manage all of the sales ordering, shipping, billing and invoicing of their goods and services. SD is best visualized when broken into the sales cycle. First are pre-sales actions, where inquiries and quotations are created. Next is sales, where the actual sales orders are created. Third is shipping, this is where delivery documents are created and goods are picked from the warehouse. Last is billing, where billing documents and invoices are created. Let's look at a typical sales and distribution process in the system. This is a sales quotation in the system. This quote is for a quantity of five hours of a service called Service Material 01. The total amount is $624 and the payment is due on the last day of the month. Quotations turn into sales orders and we'll look at a sales order in SAP. In this screenshot, we can see a sales order with a net value. Sales orders are very similar to quotations. You can actually create sales orders with reference to the quotations that are already in the system. This will bring over a bunch of information like the sold to and ship to parties, so you don't need to re-enter that information. After sales orders, our shipping documents are created. This next shot displays the outbound delivery document. In this screen, we can see the dates where the products are being picked from the warehouse and the delivery date and time. We've looked at our sales quotes, sales orders, and outbound delivery documents. The final step in this process is billing. This screenshot shows an invoice with a net value that was billed on a certain date. We've had a look at the general sales and distribution process in SAP. Each of these steps in the SAP SD module generate transactions in the other modules in SAP. For example, when a sales order is generated, the system does a product availability check in the materials management area to make sure there's actually stock to be sold. At the same time, SAP also runs a credit check for a customer, and it runs a tax calculation in the FICO modules. So in this slide, we're going to learn about the general business processes for sales and distribution. So first, sales support. At this stage, the members of sales departments can collect the sales data from different areas, analyze the data, and create sales files to make forecasts. Second, sales at this stage, sellers can send sales intentions to the customers as an inquiry and then collect feedback from customers as a quotation. Sellers input inquiries and quotations into the system as a reference when a sales order is created. The sales order can adopt information from a quotation or inquiry. Sellers can refer to a sales order to create sales scheduling agreements or sales contracts. The sellers can also make an availability check to see if the material can be delivered according to the customer's requested delivery date while creating the sales order. After the goods are delivered, if there are any damages or defects, the reversal process will be triggered as a sales return. If the customer just wants to change the damaged goods, then a salesman will trigger subsequent free delivery. Sometimes the company wants to promote newly designed goods. The sellers will send samples to the customers without additional charges, and this is called free delivery. In the delivery process, if the inventory can fulfill the sales order, then the sellers notice the warehouse keepers to pick the goods, and then transport the goods to the customer. This process is carried out based on outbound delivery notes, and the whole delivery process has a really close relationship with materials management. Finally, billing. When goods reach the customer and the customer agrees to receive them, accountants in the financial department will send the invoice to the customer and create a credit memo and debit memo as accounting documents. Management can check reports from the sales information system for further decision making. So to wrap up then, sales support, sales delivery and billing are the very basic processes of sales and distribution. And in further reading, you can check the most frequently used transaction codes in SD. As always, our editors have selected some further reading in the appendix, so do feel free to check it out. But in our next section, we're going to look at the business process in materials management. The sales organization 1010 received a purchase order from customer TC03, and the customer ordered two pieces of material number TF103, 
the customer reference is S4HO3 and the customer reference date is today and the requested delivery date is tomorrow. So in this demo we will create with the SAP Fury app create sales order a sales order as a scheduled order and use the sales organization 1010 distribution channel 10 and division 00. So start the create sales order app in group order to cash processing from the SAP Fury launchpad. And you get to the create sales documents screen. Now in the order type field, enter OR. In the sales organization field, enter 1010. In the distribution channel field, enter 10. In the division field, enter 00. And press enter. And you get to the create standard order overview screen. Now in the sold to party field, enter TC03. In the customer reference field, enter S4H03. In the customer reference date field, enter today's date. And on the sales tab page, in requested delivery date of the document field, enter tomorrow's date. And press enter. And confirm the message with continue. In the all items area, in the material field, enter TF103. In the order quantity field, enter 2. And to create the sales order, choose save in the bottom right hand part of the screen. And you can see the system message that the standard order has been saved. And now you've got the most fundamental knowledge about business processes in SAP sales and distribution. So in this demo, we'll assume that we've got a call from the customer Rora00 to order 10 pieces of material RF200. And the customer requests delivery in two weeks. Let's see how we do that in the ERP system. So from the SAP Easy Access menu, choose Logistics, Sales and Distribution, Sales, Order. Okay, choose Create. So we access the Create Sales Order initial screen. Enter order type OR, which is a standard order. Enter the sales organization 1000, which is Frankfurt in Germany. Enter distribution channel 10, which is final customer sales. Enter division double zero, cross division, and choose enter. So we access the create standard order overview screen. Now enter sold to party, Rora double zero. Enter customer purchase order number group double zero. And choose enter. All right, now the requested delivery date of the document. We're going for August the 14th, 2015. And again, choose enter. You'll see the system pops up a window that says change an invoice date. The billing date is redetermined. And that's great. You choose continue. Now we enter material RF200. And the order quantity 10. And choose enter. This screen is the standard order availability control screen and we click on continue without confirming button to skip it. And choose save.
So the system now displays a message that the sales order 11782 has been saved with the sales document number. This number appears on the status bar on the bottom left hand corner of the order window. And we choose exit. This will exit the screen and then return back to the easy SAP easy access menu.